Today, we'll explore the science behind energy transfer. Get it? We're gonna use a bike power generator. Riding the bike will produce electricity, and then we can transfer the energy to charge Bert. Labrakazam. When someone pedals the bike, this wheel spins, and that converts motion energy to electrical energy in this generator. We can then transfer energy to Bert through these wires. Bert will then store energy in his internal batteries to use later. So we're gonna generate our own energy? I want one of these. Generators don't actually generate energy. They just change energy from one form to another. Or in this case, they convert motion energy to electrical energy. This all sounds good, but which one of us is going to be doing the pedaling? Jeffrey, have you seen my exercise bike? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dr. Hi, Dr. Jess, Jess Mom. Mom. Hi, guys. Oh, here it is. What did you do to my exercise bike? Mom, we need your help for a demonstration. Are you ready for your workout? I was born ready. Seriously. My first words were, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's crank up the tunes. Look, the pedaling is causing energy to be transferred to Bert. Hmm, electricity. No, Dr. Jeff, but why? Sorry, Bert. We'll get back with you in a minute and get you fully charged. But first, let me show you some other cool things that energy transfer can do. Hey, kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades 3 to 5, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher.